Week nine of the fantasy football season is already here. I'm Jen Piacenti with Sports Illustrated, and news is coming in hot and heavy this week in the NFL. So many changes, last minute adjustments, plus we have four teams on by. So in order to help us with those tough start-sit decisions, we've brought in Sports Illustrated's senior fantasy analyst, Michael Fabiano. Babs, things are getting crazy up in here. So I'm going to ask you, what do I do? Who do I start? Who do I sit? Let's start with the quarterback position. Right. With four teams off, and we're going to be down a few quarterbacks as well, including Aaron Rodgers this week, you got to stick with your studs. And Justin Herbert, this may sound obvious, but he hasn't been good lately. And he scored 24.8 fantasy points in his last two games and lost us to the Ravens and the Patriots. This is not very good at all. And the matchup isn't great against Philadelphia this week either when you look at it on paper, uh, but I still like Herbert. He is still a guy that's in my top eight among quarterbacks. And on the positive side, uh, the Eagles defense has given up 19 plus fantasy points to four different quarterbacks, including uh, Derek Carr and Jimmy Garoppolo. So uh, I'm sticking with Herbert despite his recent struggles. Uh, I am not sticking with Ryan Tannehill though this week against the LA Rams. He'll play of course without Derrick Henry, who's out for the rest of the season. Julio Jones has been in and out of the lineup, and when he's in the lineup, he typically doesn't finish games because he just isn't durable at this point. Uh, it's a bad matchup against the Rams, so unless you're in a multi-quarterback league, Jen, uh, Mr. R uh, Ryan Tannehill needs to be left on the sidelines. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about that. We A lot of us lost Derrick Henry for the season. Uh, really heartbreaking for Derrick Henry for the Titans and for fantasy managers. We may be without uh, James Robinson. Uh, Saquon Barkley has COVID. Who can we feel comfortable starting at running back? Uh, you're going to be starting some very strange names, you know, this week. Uh, no question about that. With all the injuries, as you mentioned, the four teams off. Uh, Devontae Booker is a guy who's actually been sneaky good, right? I mean, he's not putting up huge Saquon numbers. By the way, Saquon is on the reserve COVID list. Uh, so unlikely that he'll be back this week. I, I like the matchup for Booker uh, against the Raiders. When you look at the defense, uh, they have given up 14 plus fantasy points to five different running backs. And Booker has scored 14 plus points in three of his last four games. So keep him in your lineup as an RB2 flex. And Chase Edmonds, I don't like the matchup this week. Uh, he's coming off a nice game against Green Bay, scored nearly 16 fantasy points, but no defense has allowed fewer fantasy points per game than running backs since week five than San Francisco. And no runner has had more than three catches against the Niners since week one. So it's a bad matchup for Edmonds. You probably have to play him, but temper expectations. Now at the wide receiver position, we're working without Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, DK Metcalf, and now even Calvin Ridley. So who can I feel comfortable starting at wide out? Another player who I feel like is probably pretty obvious, but uh, I want to point out the matchup here, and that's Hollywood Brown. He's been very good in all but one game, and that one game against Detroit probably should have been his best game. Uh, he had a uh, case of the dropsies in that one, but uh, I think the trend of him putting up good numbers is going to continue. Uh, they've got the Vikings this week. Their defense has allowed the seventh most fantasy points per game to wide receivers. They gave up 100 plus yards to Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb with Cooper Rush throwing the football to those guys last week. Uh, so I think you could start Hollywood Brown with continued confidence. Uh, I would be sitting Devontae Smith, though, if I have depth at wide receiver. You know, I, I was wrong about him last week. I thought he'd have a good game against the Lions. He did not. This week, he's got the Chargers. They've allowed three touchdowns and the fewest fantasy points per game to wide receivers. In fact, their defense has also given up the second fewest fantasy points per game to receivers lined out wide. Uh, so the rookie is in for a tough afternoon. Yeah, I love Hollywood Brown. Absolutely love that call. Let's go to the final position for our video today. Tight end. Who am I starting? Yeah, last week I told you to sit a Mike Gesicki or at least beware of Gesicki. And he didn't have a great game. He had 48 yards. Uh, but I would put him into your lineup this week without question in week nine against the Houston Texans. Uh, their defense has given up the six most fantasy points to tight ends. Uh, they've given up 10 plus points to five different tight ends and another three have scored at least nine. And, and that's what you're looking for. Nine to 12 points from your tight end and Gesicki could probably do uh, significantly better. A player I'm benching this week, if you can, is Tyler Higby. Now he had a stinker last week. Typically he's been giving you right around eight or nine points. Not bad at the tight end position. But this is not a great matchup against the Tennessee Titans. Uh, their defense has allowed just three touchdowns to tight ends this year. And no tight end has scored more than 13.5 fantasy points in a game against them. And that was Travis Kelsey. So 
Uh, for all of its deficiencies, Tennessee's actually been pretty tough on the tight end position. Yeah, Tyler Higby, a pretty frustrating uh, player because, you know, last week he should have been in an absolutely smash spot versus the, the yep. Texans. And I think, I think I'm going to use Michael Fabiano's own words. He basically did bupkis. And it's because That's correct. he's fallen so hard. <laughs> It's a technical term. Um, he's fallen so far down that list of pass catchers. You know, Van Jefferson's officially playing like 70% of the snaps now. So there just doesn't seem to be enough opportunity. So, yeah, if you have the luxury to, and we understand that that's a tricky thing to say with four teams on by, but sit Tyler Higby. Okay, guys, if you want all of Michael Fabiano's start, sit help and it's a lot he, he does every position quarterback wide receiver running back tight end defense even kicker find us at si.com slash fantasy but better yet hit that subscribe button right now and you won't miss a single video from sports illustrated's fantasy team you'll get my waiver wire video every week and you'll get every week's start sit video to help you with all those tough start decisions find us always si.com slash fantasy